What's up, what's going on you guys? It's your boy Earl Shatter and in today's video we're going to be discussing the best class setup for the GKS submachine gun. Now that we have update 1.13 out, some of the things have changed, some of the metas have changed. Overall, some weapons are actually just better than what they used to be. And the GKS did receive a small buff, we'll talk about it here shortly. But before we get into the rest of the video, if you guys do enjoy yourselves at any time, make sure you guys show your support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. Let's throw a goal of 50 likes on today's video. Also, if you guys are new and want to find your way back to the channel for more content, make sure you guys do subscribe. And also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. With update 1.13, the GKS got a small buff. They increased the 5 hit kill range from 2.7 yards to 5.5 yards. That is a significant change. That's pretty much double. Just a tad bit over double what it was before. So the range on this is going to be quite a bit better. It's going to kill people quite a bit faster. And the weapon is going to overall feel like it can actually compete with some of the other submachine guns that were pretty powerful. Overall the submachine gun category feels fairly balanced to me. I don't think the weapons are balanced all the way across the board yet as you know some of the assault rifles still ran up above the rest but we're getting close. The GKS actually has the lowest damage and the lowest fire rate of the submachine gun category. The Damon also has a similar damage profile as we see with GKS. However with range and accuracy this thing takes the cake It is the number one submachine gun for both of those categories. This weapon is extremely accurate, so for the best class setup with the GKS, we're going to be using the Damascus variant actually. The only reason I'm actually pointing this out is because they do now consider this the Mark II variant. Things have changed a little bit, and it gives you a bonus of 25% XP when you use it. So on our GKS, we are using the Reflex Sight. Of course, it's going to help us be a lot more accurate, being that the GKS has a ton of range, it's going to be super super efficient to have something to help you be more accurate at range. You can actually compete with people at a decent distance. You don't just have to get up close and personal. It does take a little bit extra bullets because you are working with a submachine gun, but I don't think it takes away from how well you are able to utilize this in some of those long range gunfights. Because you can hit almost every shot. You can be extremely accurate. You still do stand a chance. And as we're talking about being accurate, it's going to take us right into our next attachment. I love running the grip on the GKS. Whatever can make this thing hit as many shots as possible. Kind of important as it does have that lower damage profile. Actually, like I said earlier, the lowest of all the submachine guns. You're going to want to make sure each and every one of those shots hit. The grip is also going to be useful in those long range engagements, which we were discussing is possible with the GKS as it is so accurate. One major benefit of running the GKS is having the access to the suppressor. Obviously, if you run the suppressor, you're a little bit more stealthy. You're going to have the ability to flank your opponents. Or you're even going to not show up on the minimap when you're firing, and that's kind of important as well. And it doesn't really affect the weapon a whole lot, as typically you're going to be shooting for close range engagements. It only affects range, it doesn't affect the damage. And honestly, the long range engagements that you're going to get in, if you're going to choose them wisely, you're going to be accurate, it's not going to really affect the difference a whole lot. And our last attachment that we're running on the GKS is going to be the extended mags. I find that this is absolutely crucial, as this weapon does have that lower damage, so it's going to take a few extra bullets to take people out, typically, and the more ammo you have in your clip, the better chance you're going to have of succeeding, especially if you come across you know, multiple enemies in one engagement. It's going to be super efficient in those. Actually, on every single one of my submachine gun classes that it has it available, I use some sort of way of alternating the magazine, whether it's fast mags, hybrid mags, extended mags. I find that those are absolutely crutch for these submachine guns, making them super efficient. They aren't the most, you know, useful guns in the game as it is. So the submachine gun category overall, as a whole, just doesn't compete as well as it should. So you're gonna want these weapons to be the best that they can be. For my gear choice, I am running the Comsec device. This is going to allow me to get my streaks a bit faster, help my teammates maintain that map control, and hopefully come out with the win. For my perks, I am using Scavenger, Dexterity, and Dead Silence. These are perks that I use on almost all of my classes. With the exception of Dead Silence, I have a couple of classes I switched out for Ghost, but I pretty much run these, and they work for me and my playstyle. And it's possible I'll change them in the future. 
You guys don't have to match up the gear, you don't have to match up the perks. They're not super relevant to what makes, you know, the class setup work or function. More about about the gun, the attachments, and, you know, things of that nature. I think it's safe to say that I'm going to keep the GKS in my arsenal. It's, you know, a class setup that I can rely on. I used to use this gun and this actual class setup before the update. And it wasn't a bad gun, it was just more difficult because you were getting outgunned by other weapons such as the Maddox or the Sog or even the Spitfire at close range. So it kind of is discouraging, didn't make you really want to run this weapon. But I think this update overall made a nice change to it. And I think it's definitely worth going out there and giving it another shot. And that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy this content at any time, show your support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. Like I said earlier in the video, we do have that goal of 50 likes. Also, if you guys are new and want to find your way back to the channel, make sure you guys do subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. I appreciate you guys for all your support in today's video. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.